We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Ought to be a good one here between the San Diego Padres and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Phillies Baseball on the Show next. Southpaw out of the Golden State gets the call here. Dan, any thoughts? Well, Matt, the first thing we're going to find out is how well this guy pitches with little sleep. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher the night before. This is a young guy making his first start. Listen, you can only make your debut one time, so there has to be lots going on in this guy's mind. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his debut. Now with the plate, number 28. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch coming, here it is. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Manny B, it hasn't been a very good homestand in D-Row. Through the first five games of this set, one and four, that's not going to get it done at this level. Yeah, and, and have lost in a variety of ways, whether it be on, on some bad pitching, some mistakes in the middle of the zone, untimely defense, not swinging the bats well. They have to find a way to get this win today. That's popped up. Turner in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Uh, two, two. Swinging a soft liner. And he will put this one over the first in time for the out. Got a second. The second baseman. Owen Miller. Stepping up to the plate, Owen Miller, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Pitch on the way. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's Owen one. Now the pitch. And the fly ball is low and inside as he just about got him there. Miller is usually more of a threat when facing left handers like this. The right handers tend to give him a bit more trouble, so we'll see if that trend continues. Lifted down the line in left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The one two. Misses ball two. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D Road. Not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. And with strike three recorded there, that he's bird. notched his first career bird. major Number league 15. strikeout. Well, Man. Matt, if he can become a consistent strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. Here's Manny Machado now. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First offering on its way. Fastball oh, just misses. That's ball one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Oh. 2 0 oh now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, -oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Two and one after the foul ball there. Oh. 
Ball three. And he lays off again. Ball three. Fernando Tatis Jr. would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two out, nobody on. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two out walk. It's all a part of learning how to pitch in the big leagues. Major League hitters will not bail you out by swinging at pitches out of the zone. So he's going to have to continue to learn how to get guys out at this level. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. It was a two hit effort for him including a home run in last night's game. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Now the 0 1. That oh, misses sorry, wide. Cool. One ball and one strike. Up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You don't deal with a spot like that. That's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Now at the plate, Will Myers. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swinging, timing a little oh, off on that one. Classic case of the front shoulder flying open on that off speed. Needs to stay compact and stay in the big part of the field. A one and two count to Will Myers. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. From the stretch, the one two. That ball two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Padres leave a pair. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Chris Hadgett will be the man on the mound for the Friars. What's your take on him, Ben? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his off-speed pitch repertoire early on in this one. We'll see if he can do that in this one here today. Riding into the box, Shun Segura. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Guys, the swing and Friars as they take the field here tonight to come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, I always felt like these were huge games, whether it's earlier in the season or later in the season, to find a way to get to 500. You feel like you can start fresh and start pushing in a different direction. You cannot continue to ride that seesaw of win one, lose one. This team has to get hot starts today. Logan. Stepping into the box, Logan Forsythe. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. Wind up and the 0-1. Lofted in the air out to right field. Number 28. It's over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for route number two. Batting turn. The center fielder. Mark Whippenshaw. 
Riding in, Mark Withenshaw. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And the pitch. Line to the right side, but foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Ball two. Two out, nobody on. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Fouled away. Two two one more time. It's looked at and the count moves full. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouled off some tough pitches. Two two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. Now the payoff pitch home. Uh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Man, you hate to give up a two out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here. And good luck trying to stop him. Runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. And the pitch. And a pitch Count out. Nothing oh. doing though, and that's ball one. Now a throw over. And he'll dive back in. Withenshaw, runner at first with two gone. And he fouls this one off. One and one pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Myers will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for Philadelphia. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Started in the top the of the second. Leader, Eric Harper. First delivery to him on the way. At the ball. Success. 
Mesmer in front now at three and one count. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. When we go to a full count, do you sit changeup? Or do you stay with the heat? And it's fouled away. Up. Hoskins is under this one. One down. Batting seven. The catcher, Wellington Castillo. Here's the catcher, Wellington Castillo, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh one, here's the pitch. No score here as we play inning number two. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. And that'll bring up Franchi Cordero. Franchi Cordero. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Withenshaw is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Three up, three down for San Diego. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go. And that will bring up Lewis Hoskins. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball. He's behind in the count 0 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup. El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in the back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like you did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Here's Jay Bruce now. Guess he'll take a breaking ball then off the plate for ball one. He'll start this one at 274. A dozen home runs and 30 RBIs. The 1 0 home. Sinks below the knees, taken for a ball. Bottom of the second here with no score. Fouled off. Two-one pitch takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Change of speeds is one of the hardest things that offensive players have to deal with, especially if he's got the arm action working like he does. That pitch was 19 miles an hour slower than the previous pitch. Two-two hit sharply on the ground, and the Phillies had their first hit of the ball game.
Hey, some guys look out there, Dan. They don't care. They can't execute the ball the other way. It's not that easy. They're going to hit it as hard as they can right into the shift and let the chips fall where they may. You know, it's hard here when you come up all the way through high school, Little League, college ball, and the minor leagues. And you're used to pulling the ball. That's the type of hitter you are. Some of these hitters are going to have to try to make some changes with these exaggerated shifts. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole the strike. Runners on first with one down. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Dan Count goes out the window with this bat. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's 0 2 2 0. He's a he has great bat to ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, Nero, of being able to get the barrel of the ball, and this is one of those guys. here in inning number two. He's set. Here it comes. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Swing and a looper to left. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Thanks. Too complete. Still scoreless here on the show. So striding forward now, Chris Hatchett, 9, 1, and 2 do up. The Chris Hatchett. Ready. Here's the first offering. Fouled away. Wind up and the 0 1. Now a big fastball when he's well behind it with the swing. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. And the Padres pitcher behind with a one and two count. Like the fastball got away from him there, it's ball two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Now another 2 2. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Bruce on the run, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. And with that, we'll give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Ready for another chance. Number 28. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat. Oh. Oh. 
Third inning, no score to this point. One and one to San Diego's leadoff bat. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. One and two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. I think he had his mind made up. He was swinging the bat and trying to protect before the now ball batting. even left the pitcher's the hand. That pitch oh, wasn't yeah. even close. He would have needed a flagpole to get that one. At the plate now, Owen Miller. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Fouls this one off. This could be a huge win for the guy on the mound if he's able to get out of this inning one, two, three, and start fresh next inning with the middle of the order. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he dusted one him off the plate that down. time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted in the air out to center field. Withenshaw will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Padres down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. We're back now as the Phillies prepare for their at bats here in the third inning. And this lineup has been terrific for this club all year. Coming into the day, they are up near the top of the league in home run production, so it's certainly safe to say they're a fun bunch to watch swing the bats. When asked about their success with the long haul, one player told me, yeah, home runs are fun and they can change a whole game. So when we get a pitch we can do damage on, you better believe we're looking to launch. Matt, back to you. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Way to go. Philly. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Gene Segura. Ready. Here's the first offering. Her ball. One and this is in the dirt for ball one. Hit to first. He it cleanly by Hosmer. And a step on first for the out. A run unassisted. A hit for Philadelphia. The second base. Well good. Good time. Digging in for his second at bat, Logan Forsythe. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was hitting off speed right there. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. So now to the plate, Mark Withenshaw as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Through a base on balls his first time up. The 1 0. Withenshaw bats left but throws right and stands in at 6 foot 3. This is his first year at the big league level. 2 and 0 pitch on the way. And it's fouled away. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Ball three. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. 
I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. So that's the second walk he's worked in this one. Yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing, so I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you now. So a runner at first with two away, and that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Waits, now the pitch. Ball. A ball with no strikes. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all the umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Runner on first with two away. And they pitch two out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? And Hosmer will just look this one in, and the inning is over. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing-nothing. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Fouled off. The next 0-2. Fouled away. And that's swung on and missed. So good work on the mound to take care of the National League's leading hitter. And there's one away. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And folks, that is not a misprint. He's been clocked at over 100 miles an hour so far. My goodness. So the base is empty here with one away. And that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. Tatis. A native of the Dominican Republic, he's a second-year big leaguer. Oh, and it's one that misses to the Friar shortstop. It's a ball and a strike. This is line to left. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. Hey, Hero, that's a one-out single right there. Hey, the pitcher hasn't now pitched out of the stretch in a while. He's been pretty yeah. sharp so far in this one. Yeah, and hopefully that runner right there can get his attention a little bit more diverted on the first base and then he runs a quick over the middle of the play. So here's Will Myers. As 
seem to look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. The 1 0. High in the air out towards shallow right. Harper is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting the first base, Eric Hosmer. So two are gone in the Padre fourth, and standing in here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Throw over to the bag and dive, but he's back in there. First pitch of the at bat on its way. On the ground to the right side. Forsythe's able to get there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for San Diego. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ground ball foul down the left side. Hoskins behind to count 0 and 2. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier, making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Line drive to left. Cordero is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Well, he hit that ball pretty well. But the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. So one away in the inning, and here's Jay Bruce. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Great execution of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front. Four, and one and one as this one's in on the hand. Now the pitch. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. In there, two and two. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Justin Turner, a base hit in his first trip. Now here's the pitch. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. And that this is two and one. Hard hit ball to second. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Throw on time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Through four, still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production at this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game and that they just need to stick to the process. Thank you, Heidi. Into the box now, Wellington Castillo. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. One ball, no strikes to count. and one the count to Wellington Castillo. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Ball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And we'll find that these guys currently sit in the number three position in the circuit in that category. So one away here with the bases empty. And in the hit next, it'll be Franchi Cordero. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And he'll pull into second with one away. Yeah, and after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Stepping in now, Chris Padgett, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. the 0 1 and a good idea to hold off on that swing it's ball one hey this guy's nasty on the mound and to check swing and not chase that one puts himself right back in the count ah, he took something off of it there it's one and two probably better that he let that pitch go anyway after seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup One, two. And a fastball. Flew it right by him. Uh, two down. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. What, what, he what, hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. In now, number 28. So he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. On the year, number 28. It's a slugging percentage, a little over 425, a respectable number. Here's the 1 0. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. 1 and 2 now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Ooh. 
well above the letters with the fastball that time. Side that time laid off for a ball. Owen Miller would be next if they can keep this inning alive. A shot down the first baseline, but this will get fouled, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. He struck him out. Seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Padres lead one. Halfway home, still no score. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Way to go. Thank you, Heidi. Philly, the catcher. First pitch coming, here it is. Grounded back up the middle, and that'll get on by in the center field for a leadoff single. Okay, so far it's been easy pickings for this pitcher. He's gone through this lineup almost now unscathed. Now but right there, leadoff single. Middle part of the game. Let's see if he makes an adjustment before they do. Into the box, Paul Irvin. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sacrifice from the order right there as he hits the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in the middle infielder Gene Segura.
Here's the one two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Tried to hold up there. Peel down to first and no swing. It's ball two. A 2-2 two -two pitch. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Billy Strand won. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. Sixth about Maybe to get started, and okay. that'll bring in the second baseman, Owen oh, yeah. Miller. Miller. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Hey. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. No, that's cold. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. The one-two is taken for oh, ball two. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. And in steps Manny Machado. And he'll take a look at ball one. He went down on strikes last time up. Strike now to Machado. Can't yeah, catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it is now over the heart of plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Grounded to first. Hoskins gathers it in, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Up next for the Padres, the shortstop, Fernando Titi Jr. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr. Last time through was a base hit. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Ah. All ones the count. And here's one that misses to the Friar shortstop. It's a ball and a strike. Ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. Hey, he's been on point from the start of this game. Just pound. Swing and a miss. That retired the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for San Diego. We are still scoreless. Riding in, Mark Withenshaw. Here are the walks for him this far. Mark Withenshaw. First delivery to him on the way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a base hit, so he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Mark 
Withenshaw just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him, and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. Here's Bryce Harper now. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. And prior to the first pitch, you'll look to first. Runners back. It's coming. Here it is. Tried to ball bat it, but he missed strike one. This is where you step out, adjust the batting gloves, and take a deep breath. You have to slow the moment down. I know you want to be a hero, but that pitch right there, a great executed changeup, had this batter way out. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem thrown in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot Thank just a you hair, good. and you can have some problems. Hopper swings and sends a ball well hit out to right. And gone into the second deck. Two-run home run here for Bryce Harper. And even 30 home runs on the year as the Phillies have taken a 2 to nothing lead.
1 1. It looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball to strike, so gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. How about it? A third replay. Just there. Standing in, Justin Turner. He was a ground out victim last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0 1. 0 1's the count. Playing one curveball that he didn't get on top of there. It's 1 and 1. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. And the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Whip this one first in time, and that ends the inning. But the fight and strike for a pair, both coming on this two run home run. The five, six, and seven hitters to start the seventh. It's now two nothing Philly. Here's Will Myers. Hey guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get with both starting pitchers. Have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strikes on it all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Curveball, swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. There's another pitch for striking. This guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Windup and the 0-2 pitch, and he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. That's not an at bat. He or his hitting coach are going to be happy the with first at all. Eric. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. First baseman Eric Hosmer is in. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ball and a strike to the Padres first baseman. Well, he's throwing a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. A ball and a strike to count to Hosmer. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. And another foul ball. Bases are empty, one man in. Oh, too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off, he's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Turner has a play. Two gone. The batter, the catcher, Wellington Castillo. Next to the plate for the Padres, Wellington Castillo. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. 
and he just keeps oh, rolling one. along as he starts another batter out with strike one. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Looking to put him away, here's the 0 2. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Two out, nobody on. And that one got a piece of it. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Franchi Cordero. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a rip. Now, fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Fastball just inside. Two out with a man at first. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 3 0 pitch. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. and one here it is and this misses here for ball four just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work well they've struggled offensively in this one so far but after that walk they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise just need a big hit now Jerickson Profar come on to pinch hit here in a big spot number 24 Jerickson Profar
next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Paul Irvin. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, that when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he'll try to get that runner to third, but this one gets fouled. One attempt is popped into foul ground. And did he nope. square around? Okay. No, it's ball one. Action now in the Padre bullpen as it looks like a right hander is getting loose out there. Bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay one down. And there's one away. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He's over for three so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Just out in front of the slider. Here's a hard hit ball that will be caught out there at short. And that will become out number two. Now that the second baseman. Rosier. So a runner is second. Two down now. And up next, the veteran middle infielder, Logan Forsythe. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. Ball one. With runners in scoring position this season, no. Forsyth is below the Mendoza line. Batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different no, ways, no. and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Now, you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Choke yeah. up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Down the first baseline. Hosmer has it. And he'll step oh. on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. Digging in, number 28. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not. Matt. This lineup has had no answer to their opponent on the mound so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Harper coming on. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now that well, it's been a game of starting pitching so oh, yeah. far is on cue. We give you a look at our starter comparison for these two guys in our two nothing ball game. So stepping in Owen Miller 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. First pitch coming here it is. Check swing called strike 0 and 1. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. In. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Now a swing and a miss. And things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with the swings, and that one completely tied him up. Into the corner and slicing foul. All that misses, and we're even at two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Bruce. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The third base, number 13, Manny Machado. Stepping into the box, Manny Machado. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. A strike to even the count one and one well he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start that's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it hey. and he looks at one in there one and two you can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now that's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going Fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Three. He's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Padres down in order. They're still down. It's 2-0. Set to go, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Mark Withenshaw. First pitch to the at bat. Fastball too high to start him out here, one and all. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do. Two and zero to the Philly center fielder. Well, count the pitch. Three and oh now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. A 3 0 pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. He's really struggled with this command in this game, no doubt about it, but to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. So a runner at first now with nobody out, and that'll bring up Bryce Harper. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last that bad he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Another look to first, oh, keeping particularly close tabs on it. Jumps set, here's the nothing and nothing hey. pitch. And that's in there for strike one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. 0-1, oh, here it comes. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. 
This is on the ground over the first. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on. But they will not get him out on the play as he beats the throw to first, and there are two on to start the inning now. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Boy, the Phillies have been looking for some offense all game long. They've yet to find it. Let's hope they can find it pretty soon. This is swung on and missed, and boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Didn't mess around much in that at bat. You know, that was pretty impressive, man. I really like the pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters, and go grab the bench. Standing in now, Jake Bruce. He will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. And that misses one and one. One and one. Swing and he pops him up on the infield. And the infield fly rule will be in effect here. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop up. Well executed pitch there. Now batting, Justin Turner. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Swing and a miss. Looked like a slider there. Ball and a strike. This one off here in the top of the ninth. Now pitching and batting in the sixth spot, number 30, David Robertson. Now playing left. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closing. From the stretch. Ball one, no strike. Just a tick behind for a strike. 
someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. One one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. With a shot. Stallone straight back, but he has it for the first down. So his day fully over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the Philly starter. He was on point from the get-go this evening. Wow, what a powerful performance. Eight shutout innings in line for the win. At the plate now, Will Myers. And we'll watch one and miss up and away for a ball. One and oh. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Zone. Two balls, no play. Hey. That one's in there on the black, two and one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. One out, nobody on. Two and two, two now. Two strikes. Stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another two two off. <laughs> Pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, but we're only in the second game yeah, right. of the series. Huh. Into the box now, Eric Hosmer. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. One and one. A ball and a strike to count to Hosmer. This pitch is popped up. Turner has room in foul territory, and no one will get this one. in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. San Diego down to their final strike. Swing, and a miss, he struck him out, and that'll do it here. The ball game is over. Yeah, in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of the new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Phils wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Paul Irvin earns his first win of the season, striking out 12 in the process. Chris Hadgett pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. David Robertson records the save, his sixth. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watkin, and our entire crew on that Baskersion. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.